it's Ernie from Ernest Aquatics, the Fish Keepers channel, helping you enjoy the hobby. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a list of 10 cool looking tropical fish. So this week I had a question from Robocop2468 and he asked, Hi, I need some advice on what fish would look good in a tropical tank. Now when I say tropical fish, I mean fish that like warm water. So the first fish on my list is the angelfish. Angelfish are beautiful. Everybody knows the angelfish just for their shape alone. Now these fish are semi-aggressive, so you might get some angelfish that are aggressive. You keep them in a little group and they are stunning in a tank. And not only that, they come in different patterns, different types of colors. They're fairly easy to care for and would make a great addition to your aquarium. Next on my list is the Cardinal Tetra. Cardinal Tetras are very similar to the Neon Tetras. Both are beautiful fish. You see them in your pet stores all the time, especially the Neon Tetras. But the reason I picked the Cardinal Tetra is just because I find the coloring on them a little more, just a little more eye-catching than the, the Neon Tetra. Now they are schooling fish, so you know you do recommend having more than one of these guys if you want them to succeed in your tank. And if you get more than one, they look really cool when they school together in your tank and swim as a group. It really adds some beauty to your tank. Number three on my list is the Dwarf Gourami. Now the reason the Dwarf Gourami is on my list is because it doesn't get very big. It stays pretty small, hence the word Dwarf. And they're beautiful. They're really beautiful Gourami. And they're friendly, they are easy to care for, and they're a really good centerpiece for a smaller tank. If you, you know, if your tank is too small for something like an angelfish, this could be a good centerpiece fish. Next on the list is the Corridor. Now there's different types of Corridor. My personal favorite is the July Corridor Catfish. There's also different types like the Panda. You can get a Bino, anything you want really. And they're really great. They're bottom feeders. They will go around the bottom of the tank. And it's just, it's, it gives you more dimension with your fish. You'll have, you know, you can have fish in the middle of your tank, fish on the top, and the Corridors look great on the bottom. They're easy to care for. They do tend to succeed a little better with more than one Corridora. So if you had like three to five, if you, if you could, even more would be really cool looking in your tank. I don't know, I just have a soft spot in my heart for these fish. Now this next fish on my list I have never personally owned and it is the Tiger Hill Stream Loach. Now, the reason this fish is really cool is because it kind of looks like, um, like a little tiny stingray just from the way its fins are kind of going off to the side. It kind of looks similar to a pleco, but um, these fish stay really small. They only get to about three inches, so they can go in a small tank, which is really great for beginners. And um, they'll, eat, they'll eat pretty much anything, algae, wafers, anything you feed your fish, these guys will eat. It is a friendly fish. It's not aggressive. It does like to be in bigger groups, so if you can get three to five at least to get in your tank, they'd be a lot more happier. And um, keep them away from aggressive fish as well with a lot of friendly fish. Next on the list is another fish I never owned, but is on my list for sure, is the discus fish. Now you can get different types of discus, and they're, they're all beautiful. But however, with this fish, they are tend to be a little more fragile. They do say you should be more advanced fish keeper to keep this fish successfully. They do like bigger numbers as well. Just from the look alone, these fish are stunning. Next on the list is the black ghost knife fish. If you want a monster fish, these guys can go to get, to get way over a foot. So you need a big tank to house these guys. But if you had a huge aquarium, this would be a really cool addition to it. Definitely not a beginner fish, unless you did have a huge aquarium. But um, I just think they're amazing looking, and that's why they made this list. Next fish on the list, I am going to slaughter the name. Banded Liparinus. Banded Liparinus? It's right there. I can never say that word. I did own one of these. There are another fish that get really big, so you do need a bigger aquarium. They're really cool looking fish. They got the banded name from the yellow and black back and forth coloring on them. Um, they are semi-aggressive. Mine was aggressive, and I had him with another aggressive fish. Didn't work out in the end. A great addition to an aquarium. The next fish on the list is one of my favorite fish that I've ever owned. And I didn't want to get rid of this fish. I had to rehome it, but it was outgrowing my 65 gallon. I had two of them, and they are the Colombian catfish. Now the clips you're seeing are the Colombian catfish that I have owned in the past. They are such a rewarding fish to own. They're very active. They were never not swimming in a tank, and they kind of look like little sharks. Like if you go to PetSmart, they sell this fish as um, a silver tip shark, is what they call them. They're actually not sharks. They're catfish. They actually have a lot of different names. I personally call them Colombian catfish. They're really cool fish. However, do not handle them if you do own them because they can sting you. I have been stung by one and it doesn't feel nice. It kind of feels like a, like a bee sting almost. But um, yeah, I could do a whole video on this fish just because I love this fish so much. So it's definitely on my list of coolest looking fish. The last fish on the list doesn't even look like a fish. It's called the coolie loach. It almost looks like an underwater snake. 
which is really cool. It's definitely fish that I would love to own someday. Uh, I don't know if my fiance would enjoy the fish as much as I would because it does look like an underwater snake. They do like to live in groups, so if you get a few, few of them, that'd be great. That's the last fish on the list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos. I'd like to thank Robocop for giving me this question. It was a really good one. Finally, if you guys would like to get your name at the end of this video, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, make sure you do those water changes. Until next time.